Radio Rahim here with Jesse Vargas. We're at Macau, China. We're just days away from the fight now. Last time I saw you, you were all buttoned up, suited down. So was I. I don't know what's going on here, man. We're, we're matching up stylistically. Yeah, In the man. ring, you've got another style to deal with, though. Um, Roy Jones has been saying that he's altered your punching by your stance being different and that you've got a lot more power now are you feeling that and talk to me about how it was changing your stance which is so crucial to a boxer's fighting style well definitely first of all when we started the conversation we're very comfortable because after a 16 18 hour flight i think that we we deserve it we deserve you know? it right thank yeah. you for that so uh, no but but um you know me being with roy jones he's taking me to the next level he's a great trainer he's a great fighter himself still going strong and he's taking me to the next level as i repeated he um He's showing me, get, passing on to me some of the knowledge that he has, which I'm very thankful for. You know, he's, he's investing some of his time in, in me, in bettering me as a fighter. And me being the, fight, the young fighter that I am, you know, I love to improve. I love to give the fans a great, uh, a better fighter with each fight that comes around. You know, I think that w that's what our job is as a fighter. And, and I hope that they, they can look at the difference and, and appreciate it because it takes a lot of hard work. As for the stance and, and, and the, the power that, that I'm generating now, yes, it's much more than it was before because now, you know, I can set up the power punches before before they even come out, come out you know, and I just, not just let my hands go because I'm an action pack fighter. I, like, I love to let my hands go, you know what I mean? Uh, but now I'm letting my hands go, but also knowing when to set up certain punches, knowing how to set up different angles, and just uh, different, it's, it's, it's more experience now, you know? You're already a world champion. Once a fighter gets a belt around his waist and you get there a certain way, it's very difficult sometimes to then adjust or trust that there's another way to win a fight. Talk to me about how Roy convinced you that his way was better, and are you feeling more confident in there, uh, in training and in sparring? Do you feel the difference? I mean, he didn't have to convince me. As soon as he told me right away, this is why we're going to do this, and he could give me the reason behind it, he'll show it to me, I'll fill it out, and I said, hey, it makes sense it all makes sense what Roy says which that's what makes it even easier for me to to get the hang of it and absorb it quickly and and, and do it I mean I'm getting the hang of things quick because of the same thing I'm a, I'm a student of the game you know because I want to I want to give you a better fighter each time around I want to continue to improve I don't want to stay in the same level I'm a world champion and I have to continue to improve and 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 for me to reach my goal I want to be the best fighter out there you know and for that we have to continue to improve and absorb as much information as we can that's what I'm doing I'm doing my homework you know, I'm doing my homework, I'm, patching e I'm passing each test, I'm only 25 years old, I'm going from better and better and better each time around, instead of other, f instead like other fighters that they become world champion and they stay in the same level, or maybe they get too confident that they're the best and they're just, instead of getting better, they're getting worse. You know, that's not the game for me. I want to give you, I want to keep learning and continue to becoming a better fighter. That way, at one point, I'll become the pound for pound champion. You know, Antonio DeMarco is an engaging fighter, as are you. You've said you like to, to mix it up. Freddie Roach likes to train his fighters to stand in the middle of the ring and slug it out. But Roy Jones definitely had a different theory when he was fighting. It would seem like, as you've talked about, you're now maybe wanting to pick your shots a little bit more and be a little bit more defensive. When approaching this fight, if it gets down to the you know, brass tacks in the middle of the ring, are you going to be looking to step back or step forward? I've never said I wanted to be more defensive. That's, that's not my style. I, I, let's, let's get it on. You know what I mean? I'm going to put fire out with fire. That's my style. You know, so expect, expect a, a great fight. Having Roy Jones Jr., I mean, he was, all, he was always an action-packed fighter. He always looked for the knockout. He always looked for the strong shots. He knew how to mix it up, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm looking for the strong shots. I'm knowing how to mix it up, and, and I'm knowing how to pick them apart, piece by piece, little by little, and that's exactly what we're doing. You know, I mean, you're going to see a great fight. You know, Jesse, in 2015, uh, let's assume that you are victorious this coming Saturday. 2015 is when you'll really come into your own as a champion. What will the people who are just now getting to know who you are and learning about Jesse Vargas know about you in 2015? What do you expect that year to bring for you? I expect bigger and better opportunities. You know, I, I expect a big year in 2015. I really do. But, uh, you know, first of all, we have to look good. So come Sunday morning, I'm not looking past Antonio Marco. He's a great fighter, but I look forward to shining, and I look forward to stealing the show. I've done it before, and, and I plan on doing it again. You know, but um, I hope you enjoy the fight. And with each fight, you know, I've noticed that my fan base is growing, and I thank you all for the support. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you, Radio, Rahim Radio Rahim with Jesse Vargas.